magical plants twisted, soaring products of my power. I have refined the glowing fungus that enlightens Avernum to develop a new variety that does not so much crumble away the stone it is on. A good thing for stability. Casting things afar. Teleportation! The great magical rift! The Cephrus portal is west of here. It is not working now, but it will soon. It's not working, but will soon. Does you mean it's offline? I would assume so, since, you know, these are in chronological order. And of course the pylons. If you have not exper experienced this gift, you should go north to Fort Avernum with all speed. Training. Of course. Of course, but I do not train every wanderer, only advanced valued surviving students. Those who f have proved their skill. Will you prove yourself to me? Sure. Then aid me in an experiment. I need to test a new altered variety of lizard, both calm and fierce, trained to be a loyal guardian, like a little puppy dog. Something about this seems very unlikely. You must take an egg to the testing grounds to the north, stand on the central platform, set down the egg, and watch the performance of what emerges for an appropriate amount of time. You're going to see how my scaly little friend performs. Get it? Something wrapped in burlap and hands it to you. Careful, careful! Peek inside. It's an egg. Testing grounds to the north. Okay. Well, to get at the uh, fancy schmancy spells X will offer. There's freaking Kellner. Let's. I don't want to give Kellner this yet. He's going to advance plot. Is this the testing grounds? Two testing grounds. Yes, this is testing. The edge of the testing grounds. When the Tower of Magi was in operation, this is where new spells were brought to be tried out. The faint smell of sulfur still hangs in the air. The fields haven't been used in a while. Much of the supplies still remain. Target dummies, cages for summoned monsters, and so on. Someday, when the tower is fully restored and magic research begins anew, this field will be full of flying fireballs, crazed familiars, and the screams of singed apprentices. It will be a proud day. Thing. Plop that egg down. For the first time in years, an experience is taking place on this field. You sit down the egg and wait. Old and neglected magic awakens in the pedestal. It begins to glow faintly. Then there's a faint hum. The egg begins to shake back and forth, and it hatches. So as it emerges, it begins to grow. It's three feet long before it shakes off all the shell fragments. Aided by the pedestal's magic, it achieves full size in a few minutes. Then uh, uh, the other magic spells kick in. Insubstantial forms appear on the runes surrounding you. Soon they become more substantial. Creatures frozen and, and hidden by the power of the runes begin uh, reappear ready to fulfill their purpose. Testing. The it looks up at you. Somehow it realizes you are not its enemy. The bugs are. It prepares to fight. However, it looks frightfully puny next to these big pincer-equipped creatures. Ooh, he's so cute. These things are not threatening. Get him! Ow. Ow. I'm expecting great things from you, lizard. No. Okay. The lizard is not great. I was just wondering. In the glow again. More insects appear. You wonder if this horde is planned. Protect the lizard. Uh-oh. Now 
now it's starting to become a little daunting. Keep that lizard alive. Or try, you know. Um. Ouch. That sucked. No, lizard! Defend yourself! You don't have to take that! Stop it. Something Suddenly something happens to the lizard. It freezes in place, no longer attacking or defending itself. Then it seizes up. Its muscles convulse from its head to the tip of its tail, and it collapses. It doesn't live long after that. Oh, poor lizard. That wasn't too big of a deal. Hey, you. Tested your lizard. It died on its own several minutes into the trial. X, X looks sad. It's the first time you've seen him show an emotion. Poor little scaly fellow. Its little heart just couldn't take the strain. Back to work for me, I suppose. I appreciate the assistance. In return, I can train you. Train me good. Alright, I can get to level 3. And this sounds very useful. I recognize that icon from Avadon. Alright, let's talk to Kellner, and then I'm gonna stop. I don't want tea. I'm quite pleased to hear the destruction of the Cerberus Worm. Good, one less thing to do. The necklace brought to you as a reward. It's fair payment for dangerous work. Blade shield chain. Plus one to that. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, one of the mages who lead the tower colony is sitting in a small, cozy tower. He rocks in a chair by a low fire, enjoying the warmth. He's starting to get old, but he still has... But he has the eyes of a man far older. He smiles and motions you to sit with a wave of his hand. Ah, the adventurer. Gossip of your progress has been spreading up and down eastern Avernum. The one who has contacted the Vanatai, they say. Here, have some tea. I am Kelner, formerly of the Triad. I supervise the destruction of the old tower and the creation of this new colony. I am pleased that you have dropped by to see me. He smiles weakly. He notices his eyes constantly watching the shadows. I am wonder why... <laughs> You seem ill at ease. Yes, all of us are. It seems that our excavations have activated some dormant, malevolent magic. We're looking for ways to solve the problem now. So we're progressing. Well, as you can see, most of the old tower has already been disassembled. We are constructing new buildings, and we've finally begun to train students. The botany laboratory is functioning. However, we have run into a number of unexpected difficulties, political and magical. Political. The Crown wishes considerable control over the activities here, but wizards are notoriously independent. There are lots of arguments, all of them with me in the center, alas. Magical? Well, after uh, the demons infesting the tower were defeated, their portal was destroyed, and everything else exploded. We thought that there was not much harmful magic remaining. We were wrong. Recently, we dug out some of the back passages. Found they were not caved in. Worse, found they were occupied. 
There's something back there. Something powerful, magical, and malevolent. We have been instructed to find adventurers to go in and remove the infestation before the tower can... Uh, work on the tower can progress. As yet, we've had no luck. <laughs> well, good luck with that. <laughs> Is there a reward? Not surprised by the question. And I do have something that adventurers are frequently interested in. Wizards are generally very reluctant to share the secrets of destroying mat barriers. Yes. There you go. That's all you have to offer. <laughs> Most please, you can find the ruins of the tower to the southwest. There are stairways up into the ruins. Hope that you are s that a sufficiently focused display of violence will be enough to eliminate anything up there. Oh, you may need this. He removes a key from his patch and hands it to you. This is one of the few remaining tower keys. It may help you access some of the inner chambers. What's in there? Uh, divination spells not have not indicated what is, unsurprisingly, demonic in, that it is unsurprisingly demonic in nature. More than that, I don't know, but it is on the second floor in the southwest quadrant. Quadrant, you say? Alchemy. A book. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Don't need either of those wands. Custom work. Curing elixir, healing elixir, energy elixir, speed elixir. Energy elixir would be nice, but I don't need it right now. There's a job board. Hey, a slith. I suppose they are known to be masons. You two. And a letter with the bandits. It had a strange symbol on it. That. Yes, and they're assaulting you. Not surprised. I know little of this group. They are called the Dark Side Loyalists. The castle was only starting to learn about them when I left. Surely the castle can tell you more. Some called Doricus. No, but it sounds very intriguing. And unfortunately, outside the current scope of my responsibilities. Uh. Castle Envoy. Okay. I don't need any help to get to the Great Cave. It's just go west from here. X's office. Oh, like it was labeled back when he was alive. One in there. Grab some stuff to sell. We're not going upstairs right now. That's where the bad things are. That's a teleporter. Mariah. Magi is home to one of the two. Uh, largest magical li libraries in Avernum. The, on the only the repository of scrolls and tomes in Patrick's Tower and the Great Cave could rival it. However, some of the books were destroyed along with the, uh, most of the books were destroyed along with the tower. This woman is in charge of repairing and sorting works that survived. She is not enjoying the work. She has a healthy complexion, which indicates that she only recently came from the surface. She is nervous, and the bags under her eyes suggest that she hasn't been sleeping much. She shakes your hand nervously. I am Mariah, the librarian here. Welcome to, uh, welcome to you. I'm afraid the collection is not yet ready for sustained analysis. You're restoring that? Eh, any books that might interest me? If you have the... If you were the first passing warrior to ask me that, no, few intact spell books have been recovered. None of those have had any spells that might aid you in battle. Dang it! Brain Rat, couldn't calm you down. He's out of control. Shoot Brain Rat at me.
I suppose I should mention, mention, at least try to mention Doricus to, uh, workers quarters. Well, I'm not a worker. Oh, this. Maxfield. Ah, I'm pleased. Adventurers are most useful when magical creations get over-enthusiastic. Okay, recently from the room, a broad leather belt. Ill intentions, yes. Um, received this shard from the Vanatite. Can you tell me anything about it? The shard. Still very secret, of course, but I've been privy to the knowledge of it. The owner gently takes it, and examines it, holds it to his ear. After several minutes, he returns it to you. Unmistakably Vanatai work. Very interesting. And beyond my capabilities. The castle is where it needs to go. And I think as soon as possible. You know what the whispers are saying? No. But they're not in any language I know. And I have some familiar familiarity with the Vanatai tongue. No, I'm sure the crystal will say that it needs what it needs to say when around the correct person. Why would they contact me? Uh Perhaps they want to help us solve the problems we are afflicted with, or perhaps they are the cause. Well, they already admitted this such. Yeah. The thing Oliver and I should never forget is that one of the most powerful wizards of their kind, Rintar Erno, swore vengeance upon us because we interfered with the destruction of the surface world. Avernum being afflicted with monsters and contacted by the Vanatite at the same time, too much of a coincidence. And he's got stairs up his little tower, and X has stairs up his little tower. What is this sign? Apprentice's quarters. No taunting, please. Ha ha, you're apprentices. I can cast all kinds of spells. Yeah, but you wish you could do that. Oh, but you can't, can you? No! Okay. So next time, we're going to journey up here and beat up more demons, as is custom in this part of the world. And we'll see where it gets us. I kind of also want to take the main road down to the Tower Colony, since I avoided pretty much everything by cutting through this way. It also kind of looked like there was some... Either some stuff hidden in this area, or connecting paths between, so we'll figure that out. Then we'll cut through the big steam lava baths here. Looks like you can go around them now, rather than having to wade through lava. And, uh, we'll probably end up at Camp Samuels. We started here. Eh. I'd say maybe a third or fourth way through the game. Not bad, really. These games are always kind of long, but that's part of the fun. I'll see you guys next time, alright? Take care. Bye-bye.